I still feel like it's a young group um, and just watching them develop, uh, watching them learn new things and just um, them being excited about um, seeing their improvement. You know, we're trying to get as many people to nationals as possible and just really see improvements along the way. I, I actually am the kind of coach that like to see small improvements as we go along so that they can always be excited meet to meet to, um, to see themselves getting better. A lot of times when you get the big jumps really early then it's hard to keep getting big jumps and so the kids get frustrated. So I really um, like to focus on just kind of cracking away at it each week. To me, fall is kind of routine, you know, it's, it, it's kind of boring. We kind of do the same things every year. But the great thing about it is the people who have been around kind of know what to expect. I've seen uh, some of the uh, athletes that are juniors now really had a much better fall than they've had in the past. So that's always exciting to see that they can um, hammer out the, the training um, better than they've ever done before. I think they're kind of young, you know, but again, you have like Tiana Daniels, who's been a national champion, Zola and Ariel, who've been on national championship uh, relays. And for them, it, it's time to kind of have them do their own things individually. So that's what I'm kind of excited to, to see this year. Miriam is getting a lot better. Zola's the one we're really kind of counting on to come through because she was running some really unbelievable split last year in the relay but just didn't put it together in the open 400. So that's one thing I'm kind of excited to see what she's gonna be able to do. Padria Seymour, we're excited about her. She is a fifth year senior, but um, she's learning some new things and has a, a different like training regimen. And I, and I think you won't see it right off the bat, but, but in the long run, I think it'll, um, it'll really help her um, get her times down. I think Padria being in the Olympics, just like Rochelle doing Worlds last year, it really does give you that competitive experience, but at the same time, it puts a lot of pressure on you. Same thing with Tiana, you know, winning nationals as a freshman. So it's kind of a catch-22. It's great that you know how to compete at that level when you have to, but at the same time, um, as a coach, I'm always just trying to calm them down and say like, you know, still just try to go out and have fun and, and not take it too seriously. A successful 2018 season for Texas would be every athlete running a personal best, really feeling accomplished, uh, individual accomplishments by the time the season's over.